Según Anonymotum, Heretic sería el equipo que ha adquirido el spot, la plaza de la LEC. Cuidado, cuidado. Con mucho orgullo y muchísima ilusión, quiero anunciaros que hemos llegado a un acuerdo para adquirir una plaza y Heretics va a entrar en la LEC en 2023. Passion is actually something that we apply to every single thing that we do. At the end, you saw like we're like fucking 16, 17 years old, and the fact that we build this is basically outworking everyone. And this is something that we want every single one people from our company to apply. As you know, we are really uh, new to League of Legends and this is something good, I, I believe. We are grinding our asses off every single day to be a great orc because we are not there yet, we are not G2, we are not Fnatic, but we want to be there. No, he has L. He can't wear this, like if he has L. Do you have L? What? Well, yeah, this is fucked up, bro. What happened to you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this, is meme. this is for a meme for sure, no? There's a good one about passion. We've all met Alva, we've all met Alno. They're all very passionate, so they kind of embody and they live that value. And that value is part of Team Heretics. Setting values and non-negotiables as a team is incredibly important. You guys have obviously played in many different teams um, throughout your career. You'll know when things have gone well, and you'll also know when things have not gone well. So it's been very exciting to see the roster. Um, obviously, as a coach, you're always a little bit nervous um, before the season starts because you don't know how your players are going to perform. You, you know, there can be synergy issues, there can be, uh, there can be communication issues, there can be personality issues um, before a boot camp. So it was very exciting to actually finally meet the players in person. Uh, I think we've got a very exciting squad. I think most people would, in the EU community would consider Ruby a rookie. He's not a rookie, he's somebody who's played for a long time. He's been rank one in Korea, he's played in China, he's played in PCS uh, before he came to Europe. Uh, obviously we have Evi who is by far the best, most dominant person in his region and Jankos who is obviously a legend in, in the West. And on the more junior side uh, we have Jack who's obviously a true rookie uh, and Mercer who I think is somebody who was promoted very very quickly into LEC uh, and is still learning parts of the game. Uh, and hopefully 
our veteran players and our coaching staff uh, can help our younger players reach that level and help our more veteran players synergize uh, going into the season. What has been good in teams that you've had? What has been bad in teams that you had? And what do you want to bring in to this team? Honesty yep. is really, really important. Accountability. Really important point. I just think that it's good to have not like free free time, just time where you choose how to spend it. Be honest, be real, be real. Like, be, be, real, be, real. be real. Either to not insult each other, not be passive aggressive. Doing things uh, you may not like, but uh, it's for the benefit of the team. This and what we talked about is the foundation of our success and the LVP guys even more success. I want you to draw what does togetherness look like for you. I want you to physically draw it. Person flying. <laughs> Is everyone holding no, no, no. his legs? <laughs> so um, now it's my going. Oh. So it'll be really nice to remove the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> it's uh, not drawn very well, so I have to explain it. And I use some words, so it's easier to explain as well. Okay. So. Um, like I mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have two balls. This ball I'm gonna throw yeah. to Ryan, but this one I'm gonna move, and Ryan's eyes stay in the spot. Have to look at this ball, okay? So if you look at his eyes, he's always following this. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna say ten times ten. Hundred. Four times four. Sixteen. Nice. Okay. Two plus two. Everyone else has got to look. Two plus three. Good. Okay. One, two, three. Hard. Three, three, two, one. Just, yeah. One, two, yeah. <laughs> yeah. two, one, two, okay. Okay. one, two, three, okay. Okay. one, two, three, okay. Let's go. Because bot lane, we play bot lane a lot. Mm. Rise yes, 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 yes. So you need to play alone. Yes. Yeah, yeah, sure. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No Came from Tokyo to play alone. <laughs> <laughs> I think that scrims went uh, somewhat well. I think we had days where everyone was like doing completely opposite things. So we would like find us, even though we were winning games, then we would find ourselves at like a opposite side of the map and everyone had like a different idea on how to win the game. But besides that, I feel like that's pretty normal when you have different backgrounds, when you come from different teams, it takes time to adapt uh, to each other. So I think it was definitely fun um, to scrim because um, even though, yeah, you could see everyone is like trying very hard and everyone is playing well, then we still have to like find each other because we don't exactly know yet what people want to do. Okay, today I should play casino. <laughs> <laughs> I should know casino. Yeah, <laughs> you should. You should go. <laughs> Everyone. What's really important is like if things are going wrong and bad, we are serious. When he speaks, we listen. Okay. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
uh, being with the team has been really fun. I think everybody's a bit, like everybody's more down to earth than I expected. I think they're all really, really kind, nice people. Um, and I feel like the first impression I have of all of them is very positive. And uh, I think it's been a good, good boot camp. Oh no! Two one. I, I like it. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, kind of. Cool. Not, not action level. Not, not cheap. This is really important. <laughs> yeah, this is this is most important one. If you are not throwing an axe, you guys have to be behind the uh, gray floor, okay? So only here, the one throwing the axe. These kind of activities make them uh, work better together. happy with the staff as well. I think especially Seal has really, really impressed me. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to what they can teach me and how they can make me improve. And they also have like given me more confidence because they are so confident in their ability to make me improve. So that feels good as well. Okay. But the concept is very simple, right? When we have tempo, do whatever you want, but make the decision, right? What do you want to take? Okay, behind the tempo, you have to retake vision, right? Or defend one turn. Do we defend a dive? Do we retake vision? What do we do? Okay? That's it. That's it for today. That's our goal, okay? I would say that scrims have been mixed. Um, we're not stomping all of our scrims. We're not getting stomped in all of our scrims. But I would say we have a very volatile team. There's a lot of differences in how the team is comfortable playing the game, uh, and we're trying to get them all on the same page right now. We're over 50% in our win rate, um, but um, you know, scrims aren't all about results, they're about what we're learning. Uh, and I think that basically within this team, uh, we learn a lot from every single scrim. We are about to do the most likely to do challenge. Hello, hello. Hi, hello everyone. I am Evi. Uh, team Heret Heretics. From, from, from Team Heretics. Team Heretics. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Say one more. Can you one more say? No. Hello everyone. I'm Abby from Team Heretics. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Heretics. 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 Abby has been learning really, really fast, and I think like talking, just like when we normally talk, is pretty easy. But the hard part is when. We talk about in-game concepts or trying to learn new things and you have to you know kind of use more detailed language that's harder to understand if you want we can do it in japanese because it's easier for you okay can i try english okay okay when he arrived to madrid he started to speak english and now that we uh, there there's been like two three weeks since uh, he arrived he has been able to speak a lot of it one of the things which 
I asked Evie uh, before he came to Europe is, you know, how would, how do you feel about come, going from a region where you're the undisputed best player in the region to coming to Europe where, you know, you may not even be the best top laner in the league, you know, you might, you might be a top three, top five top laner in the league. And he was, he's extremely excited uh, to prove himself, to show, to show what he can do. Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? Bienvenidos al streaming oficial de Team Heretics para presentar los rosters de Superliga y LEC para el año 2023. What are you looking at? If you go on to Discord. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, I'll definitely miss Spain. I miss the people here and I'll miss the weather. I don't think Berlin weather can really compete with uh, Spain weather. And uh, I think the community here and the fan base here is really amazing. I feel like it's super exciting for me to you know, be a part of it and be a part of Heretics. So I'm looking forward for the season to start and you know, uh, trying to do our best in Heretics. But I feel that this team can definitely um, bring Heretics a lot of success over the, the coming 12 months. In 15 seconds, you, you can do whatever you want in the next 15 seconds, but before that, but with it, after that 15 seconds, you have to base. Right? Why is that? It's because these guys are going to spawn and you want to hold your tempo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Hey guys. <laughs> Hey, when we will start now, I think in this situation, really, Mersa, we have pink, we have three fucking trinkets, and this side is fucking black like my fucking ass. So, very excited to seeing them on stage, uh, very excited to seeing how we'll do back in Berlin, uh, and yeah, come support us, come watch. <laughs> When is yours coming? Hmm? Yours? Yours? <laughs> yeah, you need one. Ah, yeah, When's yeah, the yeah. LEC one coming? <laughs> no idea. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm very much looking forward for the season, or rather week one of first uh, split of the LAC. I hope you do too, and I hope you'll be supporting us at Heretics. So please give us your support. We will definitely need it. First week is one of the most important because you can get the momentum going forward, or you can actually crash and burn and not have any momentum going forward. So I am looking forward to the season start and uh, let's enjoy it. See you.